there's no space for it to come out of the place because it's very narrow because of the circumcision. So for me, it's they have issues with they have issues with menstrual flow. They have issues with, with fertility. Sometimes because of the space is very small, enough sperm from the husband doesn't get into them. Even when when they now get pregnant, they don't have the ability to bear them because the vaginal flow is very is very small. Most of them have, have a very very large episiotomy. So cutting them cutting them on both sides, lateral and, 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 and both sides on right and left side so they can give them a lot of space. Some have to just do automatic surgery because they have what we now call CPD. CPD means cephalopelvic dysplasia because the pelvic is not very small. You have to have cut them through. So I, I wonder why people still do it. It's, mm. Even the WHO said it in 1997 that it is it is wrong. It's unhealthy. There's no there's no there's no advantage of doing there's no it. There's no medical there's no medical advantage of doing it. Why are you doing it? Why are you why are you taking people's joy away? Why are you taking people's love life away? Now, when you deliver children, yes, and the mother uh, the mother tells you this child is going to be circumcised, what do you usually tell them? Do you are you able to convince them not to circumcise them? So With all of these things you're saying. No, so, so I've tried. It's, it's better before. Mm. But, but before, it wasn't very, it wasn't very easy because um, some of them say that it is their, it's the culture of their family. It's their family culture, their family um, is it deity. Okay. Is, it, is it tragedy in their family? So they must have to do it. It's not irrespective of what, what you just paid. Yes, and the woman has just been delivered, and you've taken the, and she's gone through hell yes. delivering that baby. Yes, and the mother and the mother. So so, so, so there are three mothers. There are two mothers now. The mother of the baby that was delivered, and the mother's mother, the grandmother. So the grand, they are all they are all there. Are yes, labor. yes, telling her that ah, thank God she go she go to, she go to woman soon too. No, we go we go, we go, we go cut them. And I'm asking them why. It says. Their great grand, their great grandmother did it, and it must pass down to their generation. That's the rule of their family. And I asked them, "What is the basis?" No, so they, they can't explain to me. But she has just witnessed her daughter go through travail, that terrible pain. Yes, that travail. Going to bed. Yes. And you explain that. Look, this is why your daughter yes. went through this, this so pain. They say that's what that's what makes them a woman. That that pain is very different. That's what they tell me. It, it, it's alarming that you see you see people that are supposed to be um, now knowledgeable. They've gone to school. Now. These are these are not um, these are not people. These are people that are very knowledgeable. Mm. Professional people mm -hmm. say that it is the tradition of their family to cut the genitals of, 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 